Welcome back traders. In this quick video, I'll be going over how to pretty much work the new um, Hankel Trade web platform so you can trade from like your laptops, your mobile devices, so forth and so on. If you do not want to use the Act Trader that I went over the tutorial in my previous video, right? So we'll go ahead and get this video started. So when you go to the overall web trader platform, you will come up here to trade.hankeltrade.com and then you will log in with your account number so forth and so on just like how you would on the act trader platform so i'm going to go ahead and log in and then we can see here that it is loading price so it shows all of the forex pairs here so it shows like well all of my pairs so it has like us 30 all nzd um ethereum us 30 so forth and so on um you can pretty much make these however you would like to you can pretty much um come over here and create a new watch list right so we have all we have forex pairs we have indices commodities and then um pretty much crypto and then if we i'm pretty sure that we can scroll this over to hit uh let's see if we got like oil and stuff on here uh, i don't see it so uh, we might not be able to trade oil on the the web platform but that's okay right so over here this has the symbol search so if i want to like look up gold i can type xauusd if i do not come over here to the side and then i can click it and then it'll load gold's price and then like i said it's on the one minute time frame so let's go to the 30 minute time frame and then we can see like we can scroll back on price just like how we do on trading view right so I don't like this volume so i'm going to remove it but if you want indicators on this platform you simply will come up here just like you do on trading view and then you can pretty much access all of the indicators on this platform so it pretty much has all the default indicators that trading view has so you have like moving averages bollinger bands um macd rsi um triple ema super trend like things like that volume that you can access if you want to pretty much add those indicators right so if i was to add that rsi you can see here i clicked rsi and then it should pop up down here it looks like it's still loading um so we'll give that a second to load okay there it goes um so this gives us the rsi just like it does on trading view so that's the good thing about this platform is that it pretty much looks exactly like trading view does but it allows you to buy or sell so forth and so on on this actual platform that way you don't have to actually um go to trading view and then come back to the platform right now one thing that you want to pay attention to on this platform that they're still kind of like working out the bugs like sometimes you have to make sure that the price point that you're entering at is matching what it says on the screen because sometimes since there are a few bugs it won't match um so that's definitely something you definitely want to pay attention to um, so like right now it says 2039 um, and then you just want to make sure when you enter your price that it says 2039 so forth and so on now coming over here we can access these tools just like trading view so if i have a trend line like if i want to draw a trend line here oops here and if i want to click the drawing tool to stay on similar to trading view then i can just by clicking that button there draw a trend line here boom same thing with the like support and resistance zones if i come over to this third tab and hit rectangle i'm able to draw a level of support and i'm able to draw a level of resistance so i can fully mark up my chart with this platform uh similar to uh, like if i was to do a top-down analysis like you guys see me do pretty much week in and week out i'm able to do that from this overall web trader platform and it still looks identical to trading view so the difference between the web trader and the act trader is that i know a lot of you guys in the comment section were mentioning like you don't want to learn a new platform like you're so used to mt4 mt5 so forth and so on the beautiful thing about the web trader platform is that you you're already familiar with it because it looks identical to trading view so you can see here like this is a chart by trading view so literally it matches every single thing on trading so anything you can do on trading view, you can do on the web trader platform like so now like i said like there are some things where they're still working out the kinks 
So like you might see like a um, price may get froze or something. You might have to refresh, so forth and so on. But you still can do your full top down analysis. And that's just me being fully transparent with you guys so you guys can completely understand and be aware of those things, right? Now, me personally, I like the ActTrader platform. Uh, ActTrader has been working beautiful for me. I've had, I haven't had any problems with ActTrader. Um, the WebTrader, this is my first time pretty much getting involved with it, so I'll pretty much play around with it for the next couple of weeks just to see um, how price is overall working and the overall platform in itself. But like I said, it's identical to TradingView. So if I want to draw my fibs, you you know, I'm a real big fib guy. So if I was to draw this fib from point A to point B, just how it starts off on TradingView, the default settings, if I want to come here and adjust these um, values, I can. So let's just make this negative um, 0.618, 0.618. Well, it won't let me put a decimal. Let's try it like this. Let's see what that gives me. Okay. Um, that doesn't match. So let's try negative 0 0.618. That should give us our values. Negative 0 0.2786. Boom. And then let's take this one and put it point zero point eight eight six. Boom. So yeah, okay. So it gave me the fib settings here. Now let's try to change these. Okay, so it's looking like there's a little glitch here to not let me scroll all the way down. So that's a little unfortunate because I want to take the background off of this fib. Let's try this okay so that's a glitch so unfortunately you won't be able to change the background of this fib but you still can have the regular values right so let's try um we can take this trend line off yeah so background doesn't work you won't be able to change these to the right either because it won't let you scroll down but overall in itself it still let, lets you get your take profit levels, which is pretty much the most thing, important thing and lets you get your retracement levels as well. So that's um, a benefit, even though you have that little kink. Now let's come over here. If you guys do like whatever the Fib channel, GAN box, GAN square, like all of those things, those are available, pitchforks. Let's try tech. So if I come over here and put example, so same way on trading view, I can come here, adjust the text, change the colors, so forth and so on. Now let's see if it allowed me to save it as a template. Okay, so it won't let me save it as a template. So you, when you're trading on a web trader platform, pretty much everything is going to be default how it is. So you might have to go back and change it, which is unfortunate. Um, so I'm pretty sure once they get some more kinks out i feel like you will be able to do those things but i'm not sure because it is a web trader platform web trader platforms pretty much don't really have the same like server as like a, a desktop version where you can save <coughs> save templates so that might not be an option but like i said you can still mark up you can still place the trade if you need be if you're on the go so forth and so on or if you have like i said a laptop that is not allow you to download the act trader platform right so if you have like mag so forth and so on you can still use this now come down to here we can still use the long and the short position tool so if i wanted to press a buy here press my stop loss i can adjust that and then i can make my highs my lows my targets so forth and so on same thing with short position tool now let's see if they let me do a bars pattern. You guys know I always like to mark up with the bars pattern. So let's see here. Okay, so that's beautiful that the bars pattern actually still works on the web trader. So that's that's very fortunate. Uh, date and price range, let's see if we can do that. Perfect. Um, 
that's pretty much the only tools that I use. But if you use Forecast, this is pretty much the same thing as a Ghost platform. Okay, I don't know why this is saying failure. I don't even know what that indicates. I've never used this one before. But um, I don't know if that's a web trader thing or if that's a uh, trading view thing. Uh, let's come over here to the emojis. So you guys know I like to use dots. So let's come here. So we still have the dots, which is great. Um, if I want to draw my dots, I can make them smaller, so forth and so on. You can change the colors, perfect. Now, same thing with any other emojis. Like if you guys like to draw on your charts, you can draw like arrows, whatever emojis that you want to draw on a chart, you have access to those. You have the ruler tool to indicate how many pips that you want. So with this, this says like 856,433. But in reality, it's from 2029 to 2037. So that's about 85 pips, 85.6 pips. So you would disregard the last three um, values on this, right? So it's like I said, it's not the best, honestly. But like I said, there will be improvements, hopefully. So that's just something that you guys going to have to understand. And like I said, I'm being fully transparent. This is my honest review on this. And like I said, I'm going to use the ActTrader platform because I like the ActTrader platform a lot better. However, I still want to show you guys pretty much how to use TradingView, so forth and so on, so you guys can get a feel for the overall web trader, right? So if I want to come here and hit erase, the remove all drawings uh, works perfectly. If I hit back, it's still, that works perfectly. And then if I hide and unhide, that works perfectly as well. If I want to zoom in, that works perfect so it, like i said it gives you the freedom to draw and mark up just how it does on trading view pretty much everything works identically and you can still press buy or sell from your like you can take a position here so if i want to come here and press a buy on gold let's see here I'm just going to use a 0 0.01. So here, advanced options. Let's go into the quantity, enter quantity. So 0 0.01. And then if I want to hit a stop loss, let's just say my stop loss will be 2038 just for, cause price is at 2040 right now. And then my take profit, if I want to put 2045 for example purposes and i'm only using 0 0.01 just so like i don't you take out the balance of the account just for test purposes and boom place order or it's been uh, successfully placed gives me the order id um it says market execution stop loss target price lot size so forth and so on boom um so let's see if they have anything on the side. So news, watch list. I wonder if I can change over here to the right. But down here, it shows my profits or my lost gains. Shows my TP, shows me my commission, swap, uh, opening price, the current price is at. But it's not showing, well, it's still showing on. I wonder if I can turn my ticks on, so. Status lines, if you come to the chart settings, right click chart settings, you should be able to click countdown to bar close. So bar close right here. And then it shows me my profit loss, profit gain, so forth and so on. And then pending order, open trades, transaction history, so forth and so on. It shows you the opening time, the trade ID, like I said. And then if I want to edit things here, and change my stop loss i'll come down to here i know that i did that pretty fast come down to edit this little pencil tool oh shit, you guys can't even see it um sorry guys here come down to this pencil tool and then hit stop loss if i want to change it to 2036 um or if i want to partially close but since it's a 0 0.01 i can't partially close anything um, take profit if I want to adjust that I can and then I hit okay 
and then it says stop loss has been added to your trade take profit level has been added to your trade so forth and so on and then if i want to close this trade or this h is a hedge so if you'd like to hedge then you can use that as well if i want to close this position hit close and then you see in the bottom corner it says trade has been successfully closed so forth and so on right so that's pretty much how you work the overall web trader platform like i said it's not the best but my recommendations is that before you place a trade that you pretty much match everything on trading view so have your trading view charts up at the same time just to ensure that you're entering at the right price and look at your um your price points on your web trader platform like i said make sure they match up right now of course just because it is a different broker than a broker on trading view it might be off by maybe like 0.5 of a pip and that's just you pretty much choosing which broker like if you want to choose fxcm awanda anything like that like you want to make sure that broker matches up with pretty much the price point to the right here on hanko trade so you can pick the most familiar one with your pair right so definitely like i said compare and contrast the trading view before you place any position um and like i said this is just my honest feedback and a tutorial on how to use the web trader platform if you want to get signed up with this broker the link is in the description and i will see you all in the next video peace